Okay, let's talk about volumetric calculations. When you go to do a 3D printed part or a cast part or a wax part and you're mixing in a bunch of different incorporated materials, the only way to make sure you have the correct volume is to do a volumetric calculation, right? So we're looking at Archimedes' principle in that we can fill our vessel with water and then remove our part and then match that same volume with some material like scrap metal. Uh, that'll allow you to determine when you're calculating for, let's say, an SLA printed resin, um, what multiplier you need to use for your math. So in terms of bronze or silver, you'll find it's 10 or 11, depending. So we're going to add water to our part until it goes just beyond the surface. And then we're going to mark with a Sharpie. And generally a fine tip Sharpie is going to give you more accuracy in your change of water level. And then we can just remove our part. So reach in. And this part's important. If you have a lot of surface area, you want to shake any extra water back in to your cup. Okay. Because all that extra water is part of your volumetric calculation. So now that we have our part relatively dry, this is our part. Okay. Get that in focus. We're going to mark our secondary line. Okay. So you can see we've got two lines and we need to get the water volume back up to that upper line. So we're just going to drop in a piece of metal and we know we need some more, and that's okay. And it looks like we can use even more than that. So we're gonna throw in another bar. And another bar. Still need more. There we go, fully submerged, and we're at the water line. So what we know is that the mass of the metal inside the cup, the volume of it is equal to the volume of our 3D printed part plus spruce system. So we know we need exactly this much metal to cast whatever object we have, right? This much metal equals this much part by volume. But the densities of these two things are disparate. And so what happens next is that one, the water gets poured off, the metal gets blotted dry, and it's weighed, and then we know what our rough calculation is when we're using this specific resin or 3D printed material to this specific metal. So this would give us a calculation for SLA resin to sterling silver.